Hey, what's up? I'm Daniel from Today's iPhone.com, and it is St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day, and if you're not watching it on St. Patrick's Day, happy whatever day you're watching it on, because every day should be a holiday, because every day is a new day. And I just got way too deep for my own thoughts, and that was just you know, like winging it and and didn't make any sense to me. It's St. Patrick's Day, and if it's not St. Patrick's Day when you're watching this, then it's just a normal day, unless it's another holiday. But anyway, I have two tips for you. Two. See, so make a little two motion. Two. Anyway, and these are a little different kind of tips. These are going to actually do with your settings, which is this little fuzzy thing that looks like it should go into a clock. So we'll open that, we'll tap on it, and look at that, we are into settings. Say hello to the settings menu. If you've never been in here, then you should go here. It's like a whole app all by itself that controls everything. So what we're going to go down to is general. But, um, you know, there's all kinds of fun stuff, so you really should check out your settings. So I'm going to go to general, scroll down to the bottom here, and to accessibility. Don't hit reset accessibility and there's some fun stuff in here but I'm going to focus on two first tip will be how to invert the colors of your iPod or iPhone so this could be a cool trick I thought about playing this trick on someone and telling them they broke my iPhone you just you just type um, this little guy this little switch and you just flick it so it's on and it just put on white and black which means it inverts all the colors of your iPhone so let's say I wanted to go to Yahoo. I like how it's orange. I think that's B, so I wish I could put that on there instead of the blue. And we have orange or you know, it looks like it looks like it's film kind of. It's called inverted inverted. There we go. Let's go to today's iPhone. Today's iPhone. And it'll load up and you can kinda of see what it looks like. See? I don't know why you would want to invert their iPhone unless it was just like a joke. Then we could go and we could put on a video. Let's see what Star Wars looks like. Let's go with Star Wars 5, which is like the best Star Wars episode. There's what Star Wars looks like inverted. Double tap to zoom in. So, that's inversion for you. I don't know why you'd want to do it. I mean, it looks cool, but then, you know, after five minutes, it would kind of get annoying. At least I think so. Maybe it could save you battery, like it reading, like because it's black. I don't know. I'm just winging it now. I don't know why they put this feature in, but you could say that someone broke their, your iPhone and then t tease them, you know. So that's the first tip. So the second tip is we're gonna go back into settings, general accessibility, and this one's a bit more useful. So turn that off. Don't want that. And I'm gonna go to zoom. All right, so zoom. Turn it on, and um, you could just read the instructions here, or I could tell you. So to zoom, you double tap with three fingers, uno, dos, tres, I think that's how you say it. To move around, you use three fingers, and to change zoom, you can double tap and, dr double tap and drag. So let's try this. Let's go to here, and then tap with double tap with three. And that did not work. Let's try it with this hand. Okay, that worked, and we are now zoomed, and to pan around, you just, I think you can, can yeah, you, no, maybe not, you just move, that is really weird, like, here's the lock screen, <laughs> and use three fingers to move, or not, yeah, three, you have to use three fingers to move around, I guess, and, oh, this is going to be good, slide to unlock, there's how you slide to unlock, now you double tap again to zoom out, and I also click, oh, I guess not, I guess when you click things, it zooms out. That's weird. So let me see. Yep, it zooms out. It's weird. So let me try getting out. Ah, this is really hard. Let's go to an actual app and do this. Let's go to photos. Okay. No, I just chose a photo. Great. There we go. There's my lovely picture of me. Want to see it? Yeah, I know it's pretty beast. Um. But anyway, and then you can change the level of zoom by tap, or I think it's double tap actually. So double tap and then drag, and that did nothing. 
Man, I need to do this on a different. Let's do this, let's do this not on the App Store. Wow, this is this is kind of hard to negotiate. All right, let's do this here, which I'm still gonna probably click. Let's click on this one. All right, so let's scroll down here with three fingers. So let's double tap and then scroll. See, that's kind of like the equivalent of pinch and zoom. Double tap in or double tap and kind of move your fingers. That's really weird. So I don't really like this feature either, and I kind of butchered it. So if you were thinking about using it, you're probably like, I'll never use that feature. But at least you know it's there. And we're going to turn that off because I don't like that at all. Go off. So I'm Daniel from, not Star Wars, I'm Daniel from today's iPhone.com. Come for more tips, tricks, app reviews, um, rumors, iPad stuff. You know, iPad's coming out. And, um, and it's not just for your monthly cycle. So there you go. It's for everyday use, the iPad. And I will probably not ever get one. Not just because I'm a guy. Anyway, <laughs> um, I am Daniel from todaysiphone.com. And thank you for watching.